how are you feeling? A lot better. <laughs> what you have, you know? Uh, it, the uh, virus results came back, and it's the uh, it common cold. Uh, just hit me hard, I guess, you know? It's just one of those things. How tough was it to, to watch the three games? It sucked. You know, it's not, you know, you, you think about you could be out there helping, but it's just wanting to be out there with your teammates, you know? I'd rather be out there going with that, going through that with them than just sitting out and watching so the last time we talked to you was before the news came down about it. Right. How did you think that was first? Uh, I didn't know what to think. I know I know he's a tough kid. I can't call him a kid. I know he's a tough guy. <laughs> I know he's going to fight through things. I truly don't know how bad it is or what it is. But I know he's in there getting his treatment every day, recovering. And you know, I just hope he comes back healthy. And on top of that, you guys lost Colin. Right. Uh-huh. How do you make up for that long it's tough it's tough you know he brought scoring he brought even the like on for teams defenses they had to make sure they stopped him he's a threat in that way so it's one of those things everybody's going to have to step up in the let's just say like a five percent way to try to make up for that loss i was talking to kevin about this yesterday and jb about this yesterday you guys came in with higher expectations this year everybody knows that right but now you're dealing with some adversity Right. I think the first thing comes down, we started off the year great. There's no question about that. And Ricky said in the beginning, it's a long season. We still got, what, 60 more games. So it's going to be ups and downs. You hear about it all the time. It's, injuries are the worst part of it all. It's just seeing your, your teammates go down. But we still have a lot more basketball to play, so we can bring it back. Uh, it was good. I mean, obviously, I hadn't seen him in the past five days just with my illness, but just seeing him finally, like, starting to recover, being back, touching a basketball instead of seeing him on the table, you know, getting recovery, it just shows he's trending in the right direction. Now, like, getting you, you back in the mix and hopefully Lowry right well you know that's our thing this year height you know that's <laughs> our, that should be one of our five words but it's good getting hype back it's good you know getting back to the things that started winning this game you know we all know that the height disrupt other people's offenses so it's good getting Larry back in the lineup. You know, Dean Wade adds to that. And now me, we're just adding the extra element of shooting uh, and defense. So just getting back on track to win those games, uh, it's good to see people trickling back in. How are you guys balanced? Like, not because you want to see more of the Right. Right. Uh, it's been an adjustment period already, and it's going to be one now for the rest of the year. You know, we all want to step up and, you know, maybe hit the big shot. You know, we want to step up, have that 30-point game. But we all need to know that it's we're, not one of us is going to win the game. You know, it's going to take the team effort. And I think we've done a great job already realizing that. Like, Conversations, you guys have that's just like reminders of like, hey, let's not like, we're not trying to do too much or anything. Like, is it worse if you're putting like you guys, I mean, it's like, let's make this body to each other. Yeah. You guys talk about it. I guess it was that. It's not a talking point. It'd be an awkward conversation, to be honest. I'm just saying, you know, but I don't think any of us want to be selfish. You know, I know. I'm saying we all want to be able to be the one to make up for the loss of scoring, but none of us are going to push other people aside to try to be the star of the show. You know, somebody's going to naturally come into that light. I'm going back to that, Jared. I know there's a lot of different factors in play, Kevin being out and Lowry being out and yeah. being out. Right. But since Colin um, mm -hmm. left the, the New York game, right. every game after that, you guys have not scored over Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. like, offensively, mm -hmm. can you still be the same explosive offense, or do you have to, like, change some things and maybe 
slow it down, rely on your defense, like the okay. style uh, I'm not, you know, it's, uh, I'm saying that's partly a, a JB question about what we have to change, but we won't be the same offense. You know, that's just point blank. We are losing Colin, one of our best scorers, if, or our best Or I have to rely on their defense more. But it's also tough because, you know, we have a couple guys out now, you know, Evan's out. So now it's just finding a way where we can step up on both, both ends of the court to try to figure out how to just win games. And for you personally, it's Sunday. Like, uh -huh. when did you start turning the corner and starting the field? Uh, I would say around the the Golden State. The Golden State was the last game, so around there, I started to feel better. I still didn't think I would be able to add anything positive by coming back, you know. So the three day break was perfect for this team. Honestly, everybody's able to come to practice, get some shots up, get some runs in, and be ready for Monday. What did you guys need from Isaac? Um, on the offensive end, what's the thinking about him maybe filling in for the uh, Just for him to be aggressive. He showed it at the end of last year. And what, the month of April or May, he had that time where he was, what, 16 points, what, five rebounds or something like that. And he was aggressive on the offensive end. He was hitting shots. He was attacking the rim, getting fouled. So we, we want to see that from him. And we know it's in them, so we know he can, he can show it on the court. Like, what are these... Like, it's been good, you know, uh, getting the majority of the guys back, you know, trying to get our chemistry back together. You know, we haven't played with them in a while, you know, and also for people that have been playing, you know, you know, one or two days of rest, you know, getting our bodies back together, you know, coming out here today and playing with them. And then obviously, we haven't talked to the college, but um, how did you take the news and talk to us this uh, season, I guess? Uh, I mean, it's tough, you know. I know he's probably mad about it, too. I know the way he is, you know. Of course, he's played basketball. He wants to be with us. He's with the team. But, uh, you know, that was a good decision for him. But, you know, that's a major loss for us. You know, Collins, one of our best scorers on the team, you know. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to step up now. Yeah, going on with that, how do you make up for that collectively, offensively, and like, what more personally do you feel like if you have to do anything to like fill that gap, I guess? Um, we have to just keep doing what we've been doing, just playing hard every single game, you know, trying to win the scrap every single game, and go out there just playing as a team, just moving the ball, and trying to find open shots and make plays for others. How about you personally? Huh? How about you personally? Uh, you know, I just got to, you know, just, you know, start making shots, you know, finish more in transition, you know, just become more aggressively offensively and, uh, you know, try to get everybody more involved. JB was talking the other night about the mechanical changes that you're making with your shot, with your release. Like, how does, how does those differ from the way that you usually shoot? Uh, I mean, I've been working with the shooting coach here, just trying to, you know, flick the wrist more, you know, get the ball higher. So, I mean, we've been working on it, and sooner or later, it'll come together. How do you feel like it's coming along? Uh, I feel it's been coming along pretty well, you know. I'm just, again, just trying to get back in my rhythm. And, you know, I feel like the shots, some of the shots have been, been straight. Just a lot of short shots right now, so just doing a lot more. How different is that form than maybe your old form? Um, I mean, my old form was, I mean, it was all around the place. I mean, and going around. So, I mean, I, I feel like I've made a, a huge progress, but now I just got to be more consistent. Isaac, we've talked, like, obviously about you wanting to be aggressive offensively, and especially playing well, too. When you're in games, though, I guess, like, like where's your mindset in that? Like, is it something you have to, like, actively do, or is it just sort of like the flow of the game? You find the shots, you find these opportunities to cut to the basket kind of thing. Yeah. Guess, like, what's that? Yeah, for me, it's more of a flow, uh, just trying to find my right spots, you know, flowing through the offense, reading off, playing off the Darius and Ricky, and just, you know, trying to find my right spots. And, like, obviously, with Colin being out, like, you had that chance to play a little bit more there. How are you really, like, how do you trust to that? I guess because it's a little bit more consistency. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm pretty well. I mean, I feel like as the game keeps going on, season goes on, I'll get more comfortable in the role and start perfecting it. Are you putting more pressure on yourself now that, you know, you know Colin is out for the remainder of the season? No, I don't ever put pressure on myself. You know, I just go out there and play my game, you know, do anything that uh, helps the team win. So I don't put pressure on myself.